Well, aloha everyone. We are spending some more time in the beautiful Hawaiian Islands on Oahu and an overnight in Honolulu. Welcome to Living Phase Two. Hi, I'm Mike. And I'm Nancy, and we're empty nesters striving to live life to the fullest. And we're living that full life aboard Royal Caribbean's nine-month Ultimate World Cruise on Serenade of the Seas. We are friends, and today we're in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Happens to be President's Day today, mm -hmm. so it's a little quieter in the downtown area, mm -hmm. the port area. And we have a big whale watching trip planned. Yes, we do, but we had a little bit of time because <laughs> our ship got in plenty early. It's not that far from uh, the Kona coast up to Honolulu so we had a little time before our whale watching. So we walked around downtown with some friends and the first place we went to was the Lolani Palace mm -hmm. and the statue of King Kamehameha is right. in front of that. Mm -hmm. It's very very famous and for any of you who are Hawaii Five O fans you've seen the where the camera sweeps by the King Kamehameha statue and They uh, pretend in the show that the Hawaii Five O headquarters is in the palace, which of course it's not. It's a museum. Uh, it was not open today because of President's Day, but you can you can go in and tour it. And, and yeah, fun fact: it's the only palace on U.S. soil. Royal Palace, yes, it is. So and uh, after wa uh, walking around downtown and seeing the Lalani Palace and getting our you know, the pictures everyone has to take when you're in Hawaii. We walked back to the ship and got ready to go to our whale watching. This was mm -hmm. quite a nice yacht. It was a mm -hmm. three-story yacht mm -hmm. here and, and big tour. And mm -hmm. uh, we went up to the third story and got our mm -hmm. seats and mm -hmm. went out whale watching. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did. Uh, the one thing I would say is now what's important uh, to maybe note is we took a Alaskan cruise here just before our ultimate world cruise adventure. And what happens is the whales here, the humpback whales, they actually migrate to Alaska and to Hawaii and back and forth. What they do is they feed in Alaska, they get fattened up, they get healthy, they then migrate down to Hawaii to uh, have give uh, birth. yeah to give birth and to and they don't eat the whole time they're here. So it's a good place to go whale watching. And what's interesting is the whales we saw in Alaska earlier this year are the exact same whales that are down here in Hawaii. However, uh, I think one thing we found is while we had fun on this whale watching tour here out of Honolulu, the crew was fine, very informative, the boat was really um, comfortable. Um, the whale watching was not as good as we did the day before in the Kona Coast. I agree with you yeah. completely. And it's really just kind of the the nature of the, the ocean. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to go whale watching, mm -hmm. I would sh surely encourage you to go on the big island mm -hmm. because there's just more whales there. Mm -hmm. They're closer just, to shore. Yeah, they, yeah. so it's just... Um, a little more predictable. Mm -hmm. um, and it has to do with the way the continental shelf drops off. Right. It gets deep faster near near shore. Um, but, it, you know, we always say we can have a good time almost doing anything. We did have a few whale sightings. You mm -hmm. can see here they were a little further out. Mm -hmm. um, had a good time being with friends. Um, but, yeah, the whale watching we had on the small boat the day before was much better. Our boat headed back to shore, and we were going to then look for a little lunch. Right. A good friend of ours was looking for a good poke bowl mm -hmm. and boy did we find it at mm -hmm. a place called the redfish so mm -hmm. it's near the port mm -hmm. um, within just a couple blocks of uh, walking distance mm -hmm. and it was delicious absolutely they said, pokey in the front and party in the back yeah. <laughs> it was kind yeah. of like a subway setup almost uh -huh. where uh in, in the front you could just kind of go through the line and pick your ingredients mm -hmm. uh, but then if you went to the back of the restaurant you could order from a menu and right delicious oh it was it, it did not disappoint after our poke bowl we had to get back to the ship because we had a luau to get to we did it was at the Holicoa, the military resort mm -hmm. hotel that's on the island mm -hmm. friends of ours are retired military mm -hmm. and so we were able to get in to, mm -hmm. to go to that one. And it was it was delightful. Mm -hmm. uh, ahead of the dinner, they had a lot of, of fun activities. Mm -hmm. For instance, um, one mm -hmm. of the guys climbed up a big palm tree to, mm -hmm. to get a coconut and, and mm -hmm. showed us how to cut open a coconut. We made little, uh, beautiful little lay uh, bracelets with the mm -hmm. orchids. Um, we got 
a little fake tattoo with just paint on our arm. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, and the straw, right. this kind of the straw band mm-hmm. well, on reach, the hat. It's right there. Just reach I over can. and grab it. Yeah. So we made a, 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 a um, woven. Actually, you made this. You're, you're so good at weaving. <laughs> we made this to go around the, the hat. Yeah. Yep. And uh, we made so, that at the activities before, so that was a lot of fun. I wouldn't yeah. say that's good. But <laughs> oh, it looks really good. Yeah, you did great. You yeah, did great. that was fun. Dinner was a little different. Mm-hmm. Um, dinner was a plate dinner, whereas mm-hmm. we've been uh, to a couple of luau's in the past that mm-hmm. were buffet style, and right. this this was plated with chicken, beef. Um, Fish, the Kahlua pork, pork. yeah, yep. oh, the Kahlua e- pork was so good. Yep. Yeah. Everything was on the, on the plate, mm-hmm. and um, cake mm-hmm. for dessert. Mm-hmm. And so after dinner, then they began the show. Yeah, yeah, the show was really well. It was. Yeah, really well done. The uh, theme of the show was all the Polynesian islands. So the dancers came out, and they honored everything from Tahiti to um, you know to to the Hawaiian Islands to Samoa to you know. So they would came out with different costumes and different uh, dances and what they mm-hmm. do in each. It was really good, and they had one of the world's top fire. Uh, uh, dancers out there come out and do a performance oh, for us. It was amazing. It was. They just did a wonderful job. The, uh, you know, they even went out and sang with the kids some some songs from uh, Moana. And yeah, it was it was really well done. And then, uh, of course, being the military hotel, they did a wonderful salute to our fallen military. Yes, they did. Mm-hmm. That, and mm-hmm. they recognized all of the military, mm-hmm. and it was just beautiful. They stood up and held a candle and. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. It makes very you, moving. Yeah, it was yeah. very moving. Mm-hmm. So after that, we went, uh, decided to go for a walk to walk off that big dinner. And we just went and uh, walked out of the hotel down to the downtown area, which is a large shopping mm-hmm. area. But we were looking for a tiki bar. We were. Mm-hmm. So this actually was a very um, up, upscale mm-hmm. neighborhood or upscale mm-hmm. um, uh, stores mm-hmm. to go to. The, but then they also had the, 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 ABC. the ABC and the one, two, three <laughs> right, store. Right. So you have the ABC. <laughs> Easy as one, two, three. <laughs> and so okay. they're right next to each other. Yeah, so we, I were. had to film that. So, But yeah, we went right around that area, found uh, Cuckoo Coconuts Bar, and the band was really good. The band was good. Yeah, very, very traditional. Drinks were okay, a um, little pricey. Um, I honestly, I think the Mai Tai that uh, that Vanessa, our bartender here on the ship, makes is actually, I think, a little better than we had there. But the atmosphere you couldn't beat. That, it was a very tiki Hawaiian atmosphere. atmosphere. Yeah, not the drinks. Yeah, yeah. So, but, and, and the band. The band was excellent. But that's yeah. yeah that's yeah, what yeah, I meant with yeah. the atmosphere. And so after that, we took an Uber, and and yes, both times we all six piled into an <laughs> Uber, and yeah, we're we're very close friends, and took it back to the ship, and uh, we went ahead and got uh, got to bed because we had an early morning to go snorkeling again we did Mm -hmm. so we got up got all of our gear ready to go Mm -hmm. it was about a mile and a half walk to Mm -hmm. the boat Uh and then once we got on the boat it was probably another 30 minute Mm -hmm. boat ride to get to our snorkeling destination Mm -hmm. but we're going to snorkel with the turtles right and we did see Mm -hmm. turtles lots of turtles yeah and actually the spot where the snorkeling is is right off waikiki beach uh we were anchored well uh, we were moored right there off of uh, Waikiki Beach and it's an area where turtles kind of come to clean themselves off and so they're always around that area and of course we were um, advised you know don't go near the turtles all the different marine life uh, um, safety rules but we had a wonderful time lots and lots of turtles we saw a manta ray lots of fish Um, it was a it was a really good time it was very good snorkeling we'll throw out a plug for the the iPhone because the iPhone 15 is waterproof (laughs) as you found out (laughs) jumping in the water by accident (laughs) With it in the, your pocket. The, the swim uh, bottoms that I had, I had a pocket in them, and I had put my phone in the pocket, and yeah. I jumped in the water. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mm-hmm. purposefully take my iPhone uh-huh. into the water, um, even though they say it's waterproof. Uh-huh. And, but it worked. But it worked. Yeah. It was you swam back out, handed it to them on the boat, and yeah, and uh, it seems to be working just fine. So, so yeah, yeah. So that that worked well. So one thing we want to say is we did, uh, we took a lot of video, and as well as um, they had a photographer on board. So we have lots of pictures and video of this snorkeling trip and other beautiful uh, sites we've had in Hawaii. So as this is our last time in Hawaii, we're, we'll throw together a montage at the end of this video. So if you want to see some more videos and pictures of Hawaii, um, you know, what stand, hold around to the end of the video and you can watch that. So, uh, yeah, we'd appreciate that. Yeah, yes. I hope you enjoy it, actually. Mm-hmm. 
And then after our snorkeling, um, we we started to walk mm -hmm. back to the ship. We mm -hmm. still had a little bit of time, and uh, our friends who liked the poke bowls yesterday wanted some more pokey hey, and i was hey, and i, I was all it. for it yeah i was just gonna them. say i yeah. was all for it yeah uh, so we went back to the same place the, mm -hmm. the red fish mm -hmm. and again it did, did not, not disappoint, disappoint. yeah <laughs> no. in this case we sat outside on a little picnic table we got it to go and and it was very good it yes. was it was really really good so we uh got that done and uh, or finished our lunch and then headed back to the ship which was really right across about a block away and uh, got ready uh got cleaned up and got ready for dinner right and we ate dinner in the main dining room and following that we went to see the headline show which was hayden smith mm -hmm. He was a wonderful saxophone Singer, player. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. this is actually one of his last shows. Mm -hmm. He's going to retire, yeah. so I felt privilege to get mm -hmm. to see that. Yeah, he's that. been on performing on cruise ships for almost 30 years and and mm -hmm. uh, he's decided he wants to move uh, and move his act uh, land side because he's uh, wants to spend more time with his family. Right. So Hayden, we uh, we wish you all the best and, we're and glad uh, thank we got you. To see you. Yeah, yes. yeah, it was really good. Yeah, we appreciated that. Well, the next day was the first of four sea days to get down to French Polynesia. It was, but yeah. none of these sea days are boring. We People ask, oh, don't you get bored on the ship? No, there is always a ton to do on the ship. There really is. So that day, oh my goodness, we're now getting under our, our we're getting into the 200s or the 190, yeah. excuse me, the 199 mm -hmm. days remaining on mm -hmm. the trip. We're yeah. out of the 200s. So. Mm -hmm. Kind of a sad day. Yeah, the main dining room actually made a special little dessert for us, and we had a time is flying day seventy four <laughs> celebration. So tomorrow's day one ninety nine left, and yeah. yeah, so it's it's moving faster than we ever thought it would. So, and then on our next sea day, Nancy. Well, the second sea day was a relatively normal sea day here. Mm -hmm. We went. We started out by going to the gym and mm -hmm. getting in a little exercise, mm -hmm. which was always good. Mm -hmm. We had an enrichment lecture. Uh, Tom Vassos. Mm -hmm. He's uh, was fascinating. He's a scientist, and uh -huh. he he works astronomer, a lot astronomer, outer space. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. and so he was very interesting to watch. Mm -hmm. We did a YouTube live, mm -hmm. so you can go back and First watch one that. First we ever did, where we answered your questions mm -hmm. about the world cruise mm -hmm. and so right. that's available so if you haven't you watched see. that uh, go back you can take mm -hmm. a look at that and see that youtube live mm -hmm. um dinner we mm -hmm. had in the main dining room we watched the headline show kiwi rogers he was a comedian mm -hmm. hilarious yes hilarious yeah, he's he's very very good so yeah good. and then uh then we went into our third c day which what did we do then well, it happened that at five o'clock in the morning, we actually crossed the equator again. Mm -hmm. So later in the day, there was an equator crossing mm -hmm. and yeah, ceremony. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And a, King Neptune came back onto our ship to uh, to punish those sailors for their <laughs> crimes, and it was a lot of fun. It's and Shana, cute. our uh, Shana, our activities uh, director here, she uh, she took the brunt of that punishment. So thank you, uh, King Neptune, for for uh, allowing us to pass and continue our journey mm -hmm. south uh, through the Pacific Ocean, yes. so yes. But we also had a top tier event, mm -hmm. and that's where uh, people from the Crown and Anchor Society, they, they get together uh, once a mm -hmm. mini segment, mm -hmm. or once a cruise, yeah. and they honor those who, the sailors who have been on the longest with mm -hmm. Royal Caribbean, or mm -hmm. who've done the most sailings. Mm -hmm. But we really like how They've kind of switched things up a bit. Mm -hmm. and I like it a lot. I do mm -hmm. too. They're honoring the crew members. Mm -hmm. So they have uh, like the crew member of the month um, for the front of the house, mm -hmm. the people that we see maybe in the dining room or the mm -hmm. room stewards or mm -hmm. those who are working in the yeah. specialty restaurants. Mm -hmm. Or shore excursions. Yeah. yeah all of mm -hmm. anybody that we see. Mm -hmm. They also recognize the crew members that are in the back of the house. Mm -hmm. Those that we don't see who are who are working uh, down mm -hmm. in the engine room who are mm -hmm. doing repairs on the ship, mm -hmm. painting, all of that that we Human resources really get or, yeah. to know. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then they also honor a manager mm -hmm. of the month. So right. that's, that's really neat to mm -hmm. see. Yeah, we like that they're not just kind of saying, oh, you've sailed 2,000 nights with Royal Caribbean, so you get a little bottle of champagne as a, mm -hmm. as a guest. We actually really like it since we're on this ship for nine months that we get to thank the crew, give them some applause, and they mm -hmm. get to be recognized in front of us and they get they get to take center stage and we're really happy with that yeah, because this crew neat. is taking such good care of us so and I believe was it Isabella that got um, she got one of them she's the um, a shore excursion manager I don't know when she sleeps because when we do shore excursion she's there from 
four in the morning till sometimes we get back in the middle of the night and, and she's, she's still, still up. There. Yeah. So yeah, thank you. Congratulations for that. And all the crew members that were recognized. Yes. You, you're doing a great job we for us. We appreciate each and every one of you. That's right. And you went to, uh, we ate in the main dining room. Oh, Tom Basso also gave an enrichment Another lecture enrichment, again yes. on the stars. And three and, days of enrichment yeah. lectures, but he was just fascinating yes. to listen Everybody to. Everybody on the ship kept saying, you got to go see his lectures. Got to go. So yes, Tom, thank you very much. And he even, uh, we ate in the main dining room that night and he even made an appearance in the main dining room. He and went from table yeah. to table yeah. And, yeah. and we took pictures with him. Yeah, yeah that he was, was really neat. He has such a great personality. And then after that, there was an Australian singer. There were mm -hmm. Linda Marks. Mm -hmm. And so actually the girls in, in our group, we went to see her, I think you boys, and just stayed and had a drink in the- I think we went to the pub. Pub and, yeah. or schooner, uh -huh. yeah. Yep, yep, so that was good. But she and, was very good. Yeah, Enjoyed yeah, her yeah. A lot. That's what you all said that, yeah, that she was very good. And then we got ready for our next sea day again. Yes, on our fourth sea day, it was really pretty relaxing. I did some kind of cross stitch with a friend mm -hmm. of mine. Uh, I also tried out the water slide because I'm on a mission to try out everything that's on the ship. Uh -huh. uh, the water Even slide though it's the kitty water the, slide. In the children's area, they let adults go on mm -hmm. and. Oh, that was a fail. <laughs> <laughs> it's an absolute fail. But it was funny. You can see Nancy uh, sliding down the water slide at breakneck speed. Yeah, yeah I think right you made it. it about five feet. <laughs> it was, oh, you, it was so funny. It, and, it was and then an she's telling me, workout. oh, you should go try it. It's like, no, I don't, I don't think so. I think I enjoyed seeing you do it. So, no, that was a lot of fun. And I it love, was. I love how you're channeling your inner child and doing this and trying out everything from the rock wall to the, to the small little water slide they have. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. So, well, Tom Bossos had another he was enrichment there. lecture. Was the quest for alien life was right. his topic. Yeah, mm -hmm. Again, just fascinating. Yeah, he has a great presentation style. And and uh, then we had dinner in the main dining room, and uh, they had a wonderful, wonderful show that night. Dual quintessence. That they were fascinating. They were actually uh, Royal Caribbean. Um, Singers uh -huh. and dancers shows. You yeah. know, they did all, they did the shows on Royal Caribbean. Uh -huh. They met each other, got married, and uh -huh. then they got into this aerial act mm -hmm. of, of you know, swinging mm -hmm. from the silk ropes and, and strength and, act. And, yes, uh -huh. they were so good, just mesmerizing, mesmerizing. Had yeah. a great story. And then as we were leaving the show, we saw one of the most beautiful moonlights over the uh, moonlit. Uh, scenes over the Pacific Ocean, gorgeous, and it just yeah. oh, it's just gorgeous out here in the middle of the ocean as we're heading down to uh, Tahiti. So, well, and speaking of the uh, French Polynesia, uh, where are we going tomorrow? We're going to Morea. Yes, and uh, where we're going to climb a mountain and see some beautiful, beautiful scenery. You're not going to want to miss this one. This truly was one of the most beautiful sail-ins that we have ever had on our cruise so far. So right. you know, thank you very so much for joining you. us, friends. Yep, thank you for liking, subscribing, turning on your notifications, and we're going to have a few of our pictures of Hawaii here at the end for you mm -hmm. to enjoy. Right, so stay tuned after our, our outro here and hope you enjoy it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.